Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to break down the differences between security window films and AP25 access denial glazing systems from Riot Glass. Both are retrofit solutions, meaning they install right on your existing windows and glass doors. You don't need to replace your glass and you don't need to replace your framing system for either one of these. But there are significant differences in how they work and how they're gonna truly perform when the bad guys come to break into your building. If you're in charge of protecting people and property and buildings, you know that the glass is the weakest and most vulnerable part of any building. That is where the bad guys are generally going to come through. They're counting on the glass not being protected and they know they can get in and out very quickly with little or no effort. Now, before we get to the comparison of window film and riot glass, let's talk about a couple of other ways that you may have already researched, which could include bars, scissor gates, roll down shutters, ballistic glass, or force entry glass. All of these can be used with varying results and it really depends on the threat level that you're anticipating or concerned about, the look that you're trying to maintain, and of course the budget that you need to work within. But let's just assume that you have a pretty tight budget and you're looking for a lower cost retrofit solution and you don't want to change the way that the building looks. That disqualifies roll down shutters and gates and bars because those are going to change the look and that would also disqualify changing out your whole glazing system for force entry and ballistic because that's going to blow your budget. So that puts us squarely on the two retrofit solutions that are affordable, easily installed, and don't change the way that the building looks. Those two solutions are security window film and AP25 from Riot Glass. So how do they compare? Well, window films are a clear mylar sheeting that is installed directly onto the glass using a liquid solution, like a slip solution, it's basically soapy water. The glass is thoroughly cleaned and then the film is installed directly onto the surface of the glass. It's then squeegeed out and once it dries, it is designed to hold the glass together if it's ever broken. How well it holds together really depends on a couple of factors. How thick the film is, if there's a single layer of film, one on the inside, or if there's a double layer, one on the inside, one on the outside. If it's attached around the edge with a down 995 liquid attachment system or maybe even a battened mechanical attachment system, those all help strengthen window film. And also the glass that's used. If it's tempered glass, window film is going to be a lot weaker. If it's annealed glass, window film is going to hold up a lot better. And of course, if it's thicker film, it'll hold up better than thinner film. And if it's double sided, let's say you have like an interior 15 mil and an exterior 7 mil and an attachment system, that is going to hold up better than just a thin single film on the inside that's maybe unattached. So there are certainly many ways that you can order your window film system. And today, because the way that bad guys are breaking into buildings has changed fundamentally in recent years, you really should probably go with the most robust multi-layer attached system you can get your hands on if you're going to go with window film. And the reason why I say if you're going to go with window film is because we are seeing a behavioral change in the criminal element. They're coming with much heavier tools and they're more organized and they're creating a lot more force on the glazing systems and they're getting in. If you watch the footage from the riots, you'll see folded up glass everywhere. And that's either a laminated glass, which is a factory, basically it's like two pieces of glass with window film sandwiched in the middle and it's all glued together. Or it's a retrofit, which is just regular glass with window film applied on the inside both create pretty much a similar result. And that is the glass is held together in a minimal type of attack, but if it's given enough force, it will fail relatively quickly. And now with heavier tools being used as a standard protocol for bad guys, window films are questionable whether or not they're going to hold up in a force entry attack. Highly questionable. So now let's take a look at the Riot Glass Armor Plast 25 or AP25 access denial glazing system. This is installed not on the glass, but actually in front of the glass. It's installed onto your existing framing system. Now it doesn't matter if it's aluminum storefront, a wooden system, masonry, steel, even all glass systems can be retrofit with Riot Glass AP25. So what makes it so different from window film is that it is an unbreakable panel being held into the framing system, anchored into the superstructure of the building. So there is no weak point around the edge and the panel itself is unbreakable. Unlike window film, which can be punctured if it's hit in the same place more than just a few times, it will puncture and then it becomes a weak point and it will tear and then that's how it fails. With AP25, it is got this unbreakable panel which can take enormous force and even when it's punctured or shot with multiple rounds, which is how it's been tested, 
it doesn't fail. Those holes don't become a weak point and they don't spread. So for that reason, it's great when it's used around schools for active shooter, around doorways where someone would normally punch through window film and then get their hand inside the building and unlock the panic egress hardware. So you only need a breach about the size of a human hand to get through and access the egress hardware and you're in the building. But most importantly, if you've got multiple attackers with heavy tools and they approach the building and they start wailing on the glass, they're gonna get in really quickly if it's laminated glass or window film. It just can't handle that kind of force. Where AP25 can take abuse like that for a prolonged period of time, and in fact, in laboratory testing, it was virtually impenetrable. The tech just got tired and just stopped. He was just exhausted from swinging the sledgehammer for eight full minutes and couldn't get in. So this is a fundamentally different technology than window film and it really isn't even in the same category. If you'd like to see a demonstration of this product, we will do these for any large client that's looking to roll out across the US or that has a large building. In fact, seeing is believing. We do these demos all the time. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, some of the feedback we get during the demos, uh, we always will juxtapose the AP25 to a window film buck. So we have two bucks, which are these these test uh, fixtures and we'll show the difference side by side and it's really very apparent very quickly uh, how different they are and most of our clients will say why would I ever go with window film now that I've seen this other product and the answer is well you may want to go with window film on certain areas that are annealed glass for example that are four feet above grade or more that are kind of difficult to access and get in if you're doing a very large campus for example multiple windows so in some cases you can use window film to you know help reduce cost a little bit and use the AP25 in all the areas that are much more vulnerable. And we see that quite a bit, uh, that combination of different products. But some, some clients just say, no, we don't want anything except AP25 on all our windows because you never know on that night, that one window, you know, which window is it gonna be? You never really can predict where a bad guy is gonna choose to go into a building. It's more likely that they'll try and get in at an entrance. That's typically where people break in, the, the doors or the side lights beside the doors, but not always. So. Are you going to take that chance? So that's the basic difference between window films and AP25. You'll probably have more questions, so we're going to make more videos. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this video and what you think of these two different technologies. What would you use on your building? What do you like most about the two different technologies? Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this content useful, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you know someone that would benefit from this information, please forward it on to them and help us spread the message. We'll see you on the next video.